hello, sir. Uh, please help me up. Where are we going? Excuse me. The hotel staff doesn't help our clients get up the stairs, for they are all self-sufficient people. Oh, but I'm unable to climb the stairs myself. And your ramp is blocked. Oh, for such cases, we have a button to call an assistant. Sure. Well, it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. <laughs> because everyone in the hotel climbs on their own too. On top of that, sir, your vehicle will stay on our floor. Okay. Where I can clean my wheelchair? Oh, we have a water pump over there. Go straight and to the right. No, 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 it's all good, it's all good. But just make sure that the, uh, the electrical system is working fine. No screw-ups. Uh, Mr. Rick, welcome. Uh, we weren't expecting you so early. Surprise! Listen, guys, I've got a really important meeting coming. The potential buyer of this hotel is gonna be here really, really, really soon, okay? This is my last chance to avoid bankruptcy. So no surprises and make sure everything is perfect. Got it? Yes, sir. Of course. Where's my coffee? One minute, one minute. Hey, buddy. The room is in the far wing just for our creep. <laughs> Do you think the boss wouldn't notice our wheelchair guy? Hmm. If we close the elevator for one day, he'll definitely mm. stay in his room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Your number is 709. Oh, uh, it's... Seventh floor. This is the only room that's currently available. Okay, maybe you have something on the ground floor. Mr. Cross, unfortunately, only presidential suites are available on the ground floor. And judging by your equipment, they are not affordable for you. All right. No problem. I'll, I'll have the presidential suite. <sighs> Randy, help Mr. Cross with his luggage and take him to his room. Of course. Mr. Cross, our hotel is known for our comfort. Please, make sure you wouldn't bother our guests with the squeak of your wheels. <sighs> Have a good rest and happy trails. Thank you, sir. Coffee! Yeah, coffee, sure, yeah. Hey, sir, I'm sorry. Could you please? Right. Excuse me, sir. Could you please help me with this cake? Mister, I'm terribly sorry, but you're preventing our guests from normal eating and you're spoiling their appetite with your appearance.
right, but I am also your guest and I also want to Of course eat. you are. So please help yourself and enjoy the meal. Oh, oh my, uh, I'm so sorry guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. Our chef will prepare new and tastier cookies. I'm sorry, sorry, it was an accident. I, I didn't mean to. I'm asking you, Mr. Cross, to please leave the restaurant. Way. The buyer's gonna be here any minute now. So I want everything perfect and no surprises. You got it? Yes, sir. Uh, of course. Sir, I have to ask you to leave the lobby. Why, I'm... I'm working here. I'm very glad that you're working here, but soon very special guests will come here, and we don't want them to see you. All right, I'm tired of this. Speak your mind. You want to drag me away because I'm disabled, yeah? Because my wheelchair scares people. Well, you said it yourself. Call me the general manager, or who do you have in charge? Please, please. No, sh 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 please, call me the manager. Call me the manager, please. Hello, sir. I'm the owner of this hotel. Is there a problem? Yes. Your employees are just humiliating me. I demand an apology. Sir, I'm so very sorry. Please accept my sincerest apologies. And you know what? As a sign of my goodwill, I'm willing to offer you our finest, our most beautiful, our best suite. And on top of that, a monthly pass to our spa. And I guarantee you, I'll make sure that the ones that are responsible will be punished. Thank you, sir. At least one decent person in this room. I hope this will be good lesson for, for everyone. Absolutely. I guarantee it. I'm so sorry. Please, let me escort you to your room. Yeah, thank you. Well, don't you worry, sir. We're gonna settle everything to your satisfaction right away. It's one of our best rooms. I can guarantee you that. All right. Uh, hey. I really do hope you enjoy it. Open the door! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Open the door! Price! Price! What's this? Get rid of it. Looks like a funeral home and not a hotel. Randy, I want to see the reflection on my floor. I'm going to mop it with your head. The investor's going to be here any minute. Uh, yes, sir. Got you, sir. Let's hurry up! Hello, Mr. Cross. Oh, really? Can't make it? Well, that's too bad. Video conference, 10 minutes? Absolutely. No problem. Talk to you soon. Right. Bye. Price! Pr Price, where are you, man? I need you to set up a video conference room right now. Uh, sir, should I set up a webcam? No, 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 no. Put on the big screen plasma. Yeah, 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 that's it. So I, so I can show the investor why he's gonna shower me with cash. Yes, Mr. Rick. Go, what are you doing here? Run! Nice, this is it, man. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do this, guys. Sir, we can start. Nice, nice. God, this guy's got more cash than your family has ever make. 
and has ever made, all right? So don't embarrass me, man. Don't screw this up. It's our last chance to save our jobs. We we'll wish you success in the negotiations, sir. Jesus Christ, Price, you're such an ass kiss. This guy's gonna love you, man. Good evening, Mr. Cross, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Yes, listen, I'm really sorry that we couldn't have this meeting in person because I would have loved for you to see our gorgeous hotel with your own eyes. Sure, I would have loved to have seen it too, um, you know. But uh, all the reviews I've read have been very positive and I'm sure you guys are running a really tight ship over there, so. Listen, I'm really happy to hear that. We try our best, you know, we give 100% and the, uh, the word out there, the positive image, that's all we're trying to do, so thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, I am sorry I couldn't be there, but I do want to speed up the process, so I'm going to go ahead and have my son close the deal for me. Yeah, and he just checked into your hotel a few days ago, so he's just there kind of checking on things, seeing uh -huh, how it right? goes. Well, I'm sure he must have had an amazing experience. Top-level service in the whole nine yards. Daniel, are you there? He's gonna join the conversation. Daniel, are you there? Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey, buddy. I can't see it too well. Uh, what's going on there? Uh, yeah, Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. There's just no light in here. No light? Yeah. In the presidential suite, there's no light? What's that about? <laughs> yeah, there may be the light there, but the only problem is that I'm not in a presidential suite. <laughs> But the uh, janitor, janitor's closet or something, I don't know. What did you say? No, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's been a mix-up. It's, it's misunderstanding, it's all good, seriously. Oh, and you are here. Hello, you should know, you turned off the light, but the, the internet is still working, man. Daniel, are, are you seriously in a closet? Is that, what is going on there? Am I gonna have to come down there? Come down there and I'm gonna see to it that this Donald character Yo. is finished. Jesus, Mr. Cross. Oh, God damn it. Mr. Cross, I'm so, 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 so sorry. Oh, please accept my apologies. Why didn't you tell us in the first place? What would they change? Wouldn't you humiliate me all the time? No. Of course, for you, the only reason to respect person is money, right? Is the person in a wheelchair worthy of respect? Mr. Cross, please, please accept my sincere apologies for the behavior of my staff. I pray and I beg that this won't affect your decision to buy my home. Mr. Reek, your employees are angels compared to you. You are a real villain who allowed contempt and discrimination to thrive in this hotel. You believe that people like me have disabilities, but the only one who has a disability is you. Because you are not able to see the human being in yourself. So, will my father buy this hotel? Really? Yes. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. I'm so happy! But... Only after the bank confiscated from you for your debts and all of you go bankrupt. Yes. And you, Mr. Rick, you will be on the front page of every newspaper as a hotel owner who discriminates against honest people. The former owner, actually. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. I want to wish you something. I want neither you nor your children to ever feel what people like me feel every day. Wish you luck. What the hell are you doing here? Miss, I work here. Your father hired me. You're going to do what I tell you to do. It's dirty in here. 
Julia. Tell me, Julia, what do you know about life? Partying until dawn? If you want to go for a month-long vacation, then you're going to work as a cleaning lady for a 